This is Tanya McIntosh, a 21-year-old girl who lives in Sutton, but she spends most of her time in London hugging celebrities. They have now given her the name The Phantom Hugger. Tanya suffers with Asperger's syndrome, resulting in her having obsessions. Meeting celebrities is one of them, as well as playing bingo. In this documentary, Tanya talks about her celebrity encounters and we find out what exactly happens in her world. My name's Tanya. I live in Sutton Morgan with my nan. Um, and she is, well, she's old-ish. <laughs> About 99 now, so yeah. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Loads. Let's just say I've got about 12. 12 brothers and sisters? Yeah. My nan and little Pete. <laughs> He's over there somewhere. <laughs> Here's little Pete! <laughs> he's doing... I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. This is little Pete. <laughs> and he goes anywhere. And what happened to his feet? Well, my mum snapped that one off um, because I refused to go to a wedding. I wanted to go to a Pete on check on <laughs> And we don't know, that one got lost in Glasgow, we think. And I sort of go and find celebrities and get their photographs and have a cuddle with them. It started with Peter Andre. Um, and I just sort of fell in love with him and now I sort of follow him everywhere and sort of go around his house and see what he's up to and send him loads of Christmas presents and birthday presents and whatever else, you know. Well, it all started back in 2003 when I met this one girl called Ellie, aka Greencock. Um, and we, she was with Blackcock and they were at the Peter Andre sign. And I was queuing out to see Peter Andre and VS was there. And um, Marvin, he used to be in a band called VS. So I met these guys there and then we, we just became friends. And then about four or five years later, we met again at the X Factor um, where they were with Joe Lesk. Hence, we called them Black Cock, Green Cock, Yellow Cock, Blue Cock, Butterfly Cock, Boys and Cock and Westlife Cock. And now we have Chips and Beans Cock as well. It's quite good. And there's Bacon Cock. And there's Lee Walsh Cock. And we just sort of think of a name and I can't remember their name. I say, hey, Beans Cock or Bacon Cock or Lee Walsh Cock. And it would just be like, hey, let's go. Let's roll with it. Easier to remember. Yeah, it is for me. Because on my phone I can't spell their names, so like I have black cock as black cock or gay barlow cock as gay barlow cock. <laughs> and we're just all sort of in look like a little group and we call ourselves cocks. I was at the studio, I was waiting for Keith and some of the boys and the other people. And Matt Cardle was there and McFlow were there. And um, I was down there and it was Chips and Beans' birthday. So I said to Harry, um, here, phone Chips and Beans. And he, he, her mum picked up the first one from Harry and she ended up speaking to him on the phone and then Harry left the message and then Chips and Beans' his mum, Beans, she answered the phone to Harry. Hi Chips and Beans, uh, it's Harry here uh, from the fly and I'm just leaving you a message and saying hello and I hope you're well. Bye. <laughs>
times I've posted many vlogs now. But you know what they say, three times and then it goes up to four, or you say third time lucky. But it'd be seventh time lucky for me if he says yes next time I asked him. Post to Simon Cow twice now. He said yes straight off. It was really funny because it was in the paper the next day. Him, and Jedward took him with me and asked me to marry him. And it was really funny, and that was quite a good movie thing to remember. Now, you're inside that diaper. Yeah! <laughs> you're amazing. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Know me. Yeah. Yes. There you go. You're actually a lot more tame with me than you are with Louis. I like that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> No, you've got to go no, home now. Home don't, now. don't go west end. Take Nan home. No, she needs it, honestly. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you that. Put her feet up, all right? Can you do that? <laughs> right, take her home, let her put her feet up. Make her a cup of tea. She'll love you. Here, Becky, here's your penny. No, she's got to come. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Carl doesn't like cuddles. I know he was hugged as a child. I'm going to take socks. No. Of course you can. Right, Jim. Oh, I'm going to take socks.